week, we are going to play one of my favorite games called Clean Up the Backyard. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys have played this game before, maybe in PE class, or at camp, or even with us in our classes. But I'm going to show you how you can play it at home safely and without breaking stuff all over your house. So here's how we do this for anyone who hasn't played before. All right, we're going to pretend that there are two backyards and this yoga mat in the middle, this is the fence. Now you're going to need a fence and your fence can be a yoga mat or it could be a towel or it could be a blanket or it could be almost anything that you can lay flat and make kind of skinny. You don't want anything that's too wide, okay? And you're gonna need some balloons. Now the reason, like I said, you wanna use balloons, so that way if, well, <laughs> let me backtrack a little. We're gonna be throwing these balloons all over the room. So you wanna use balloons because if they hit stuff, they probably won't knock it over, and if they hit people, then it won't hurt, okay? So make sure you use balloons and not regular balls, all right? Now, here's what we do. Like I said, we have two backyards, one on that side of the fence and one on this side of the fence. And we have three balloons starting over there and three balloons starting over here. Now, this backyard is going to be my backyard. And that backyard over there is going to be Mr. Nick's backyard. Here he comes. Thank you, Mr. Nick. All right, guys. So. Mr. Nick can't cross the fence into my backyard, and I also cannot cross the fence into his backyard. But what we have to do is throw as many balloons as we can into the other person's backyard before I yell stop, okay? So here's how it goes. We're both gonna stay on our knees just to make it a little smaller since we're inside, okay? And Pretend we're playing, so I would say go, and then we both start throwing our balloons onto the other person's side, but we don't cross the fence, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, all right, we're going to play for real now, <laughs> and we're going to see who wins. Now, here's how you win. You want to have the lowest amount of balloons on your side at the end of the game. So, when I yell stop, you want to have as few as possible, all right? So that means like if Mr. Nick had those two over on his side plus the three already has, and I only have one, I win. <laughs> but if I have more than him, like say I have this green one and this pink one, then he wins. But even if I had just this green one, he'd still win, okay? So that's how that works. All right, now we're gonna start with the even. And we're both gonna start with our hands back. We actually can't touch the balloons until they say go, all right? Now, are you ready, Mr. Nick? All right. All right, me too. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> I can't cross the fence. I gotta wait till they come over to my side and then I can hit them back. And as you can see, we're throwing and we're hitting, kind of like they're tennis balls even, using our hands like rackets. That's usually a great way to do it. And you can hit them off the fence. <laughs> and now here, we'll give ourselves a 10 second countdown and then the game is over. Here we go. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs>